I just showed up on set and I had I'd gotten it wrong. I mean, I clearly. But, uh, yeah. did you and then I was fat and unemployed. Did you it's hard to imagine certain TV and movie characters being portrayed by anyone other than the actor we know and love them by. But it turns out many of our favorite iconic roles were almost played by completely different actors and actresses. See if you can envision these celebrities in the role as we count down the stars who were almost cast in iconic movie and TV roles right here on Listed. While it seems like a no-brainer that Alden Ehrenreich landed the role of a young Han Solo, seriously how is he not related to Harrison Ford? Harry Styles was in the running to play the iconic role. According to Metro and The Telegraph, Harry was an early contender, but his busy music schedule got in the way of him nabbing the part. You auditioned to be the new Han Solo. That might be a yes! Go to oh, the, okay. I think that's a yes. Get out of here! Yes. Yes. Kerry Washington's name is synonymous with Olivia Pope, but it was almost Nashville's Connie Britton who got the lead in the political drama. Show creator Shonda Rhimes wanted to stay true to the character's real-life inspiration, Judy Smith. Shonda told The Hollywood Reporter, quote, When the show got picked up to pilot, I got a phone call from somebody who said, This would be the perfect show for Connie Britton. I said, It would be, except Olivia Pope is black. So I want to know right now, in this moment, who you are. Because the pathetic shell of a person I'm looking at right now doesn't deserve to stand on the presidential seal in the Oval Office, let alone tell the president what to do. Gabrielle Union was also in the running to play Olivia Pope, but lost out to Kerry Washington. The actress revealed she didn't get scandal, but everything worked out because she was then given her own BET show, Being Mary Jane. About her experience auditioning, Gabrielle said, quote, The success of her and the show bred more work. Just from the audition process, I knew that I couldn't go backward. What would be the Fast and Furious movies without Vin Diesel as Dom? It's unimaginable that any other actor could play the role as well as him. But it turns out the studio wanted Santa Clara Diet star Timothy Oliphant to the role. Producer Neil H. Moritz revealed the studio said, If you can get Timothy Oliphant to play that role, we will greenlight the movie. But Timothy actually turned down the role and it was given to Vin. I think I need to remind you why you chose to be here. I got no choice! Mia Wasikowska brought Alice to life in the Tim Burton adaptation of Alice in Wonderland, but it was almost model-turned-actress Cara Delevingne who got the iconic role back in 2010. She told W Magazine, quote, I set my tape off and then I was at a wedding and this woman came over to me and said, you don't know me, but I know exactly who you are. It was Lily Zanuck, the wife of Richard Zanuck, the film's producer. She told me that they all loved my tape and I went to Tim Burton's house and met with him. I didn't get the part, but that experience lit a fire in me. Fifty Shades of Grey's Anastasia Steele could have had another brunette beauty in her shoes. Lucy Hale almost made the jump from young adult actress to the risque role. As a huge fan of the books, Lucy was all about landing the role, but it ultimately didn't work out. She told MTV News, quote, I was just interested in doing something risky and doing something a little different than my character on PLL, so it took me out of my comfort zone. Okay, but I kind of think that, and so do a lot of fans, that you could be Anastasia. Oh my God, you can, I think every girl on the carpet wants to play her. I mean, that would be freaking awesome. So, yeah. <laughs> Crazy as it sounds, George Clooney and Sandra Bullock weren't the first choices for 2013's Oscar-winning film, Gravity. Robert Downey Jr. almost portrayed Matt, and Natalie Portman, Angelina Jolie, and Blake Lively were all in consideration for Ryan. Sandra, though, went on to earn two People's Choice Awards for her role, proving it was meant to be. It may have been for the best that Emma Roberts pulled out of the controversial 2012 movie Spring Breakers. The Scream Queen star was slated to play Brit, but the iconic party girl part went to PLL star Ashley Benson. A Just Jair Jr. source told the site Emma backed out due to creative differences that couldn't be resolved. In an oil, lay out by the pool. This is the American dream, y'all. Spring Break. Y'all wanna die tonight? Spring Break. Get down! I still get goosebumps watching Rachel McAdams as Allie from The Notebook, but the movie could have been completely different if the film's director decided to cast Jessica Biel instead. Jessica told Elle magazine of the part, quote, That's the one I wanted so badly. Nick Cassavetes put me through the ringer in an interesting, excitingly creative way. But there's a million that get away. We're gluttons for punishment, it's just rejection. My reincarnation. I don't know. While many actors don't get roles because directors change their minds, Hugh Jackman actually turned down the lead driver role in Drive. 
He told The Hollywood Reporter it was because he was unsure of working with the film's director, Nicholas Winding Refn. Thankfully, another hottie got the part, Ryan Gosling. And speaking of Ryan Gosling, if it were up to me, he would star in every male lead role, and yet the actor was actually fired from his role as Jack Salmon in 2009's of The Lovely Bones. Yep, Ryan spilled the deets that him and the director had a different idea of how the character should look. Ryan had put on 60 pounds to play the grieving father, but it didn't work with the director and producer's vision. Mark Wahlberg ended up getting the part instead. Lovely Bones, you were gonna do that one and then it didn't happen. It's oh, right on the Lovely Bones way. <laughs> we just had wildly different ideas of what the, what the film should be and what the, you know, and, it, and I'm just an actor, you know, it's not my business, you know. Harry Mulligan auditioned three times for the role of Lisbeth in The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. It's hard to picture sweet face Carrie transforming into Lisbeth and getting all those piercings and dyeing her hair for the role the way that Rooney Mara did. The role was originally offered to Natalie Portman, but she turned it down. Everyone's favorite green ogre, Shrek, was almost voiced by Nicolas Cage instead of Mike Myers, but he turned on the role. While it was reported he didn't want to play it because the character was ugly, Nick clarifies that by telling today, I'm not afraid to be ugly in a movie. When you're drawn, in a way it says more about how children are going to see you than anything else, and I so care about that. Yeah. Is it true that you turned down Shrek? Uh, yes, that is in fact uh, true. But there was a report that it was because you thought the character was ugly. Well, that's gotta be crazy. Well, the, the news said it was because of vanity. I think that's a bit strong. <laughs> mean Girls would have looked a heck of a lot different if Lindsay Lohan had agreed to play Regina instead of Katie. While she wanted the part, Lindsay feared that the public would base her real personality on Regina's, so she opted to play the nice girl in the film. Thankfully, Rachel McAdams nailed the role, and we're still quoting her to this day. I had just played in Confessions and Freaky, not the cool girl in school. I was still 17 years old, and I wanted to be the cool girl on set. Why don't I know you? I'm new. I just moved here from Africa. What? I used to be homeschooled. Wait, what? My mom taught me at home. No, no, I know what homeschool is. And then 18-year-old Brandy got her film debut from her role of the iconic updated version of Cinderella, a fitting role for a young actress. But it was almost 34-year-old Whitney Houston who played the Disney princess. Whitney went on to produce the movie as well as star as the fairy godmother. Impossible. know who you wish got the parts? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. After that, you can click over here to see the celebs who've done crazy things for movie roles. Thanks so much for hanging out with me here on Clever News. I'm your host, Sinead DeFries, and I'll see you guys next time.